Hi, this is Mehdi with Full Stack Library and today we'll learn how to set up a custom domain to be used with Netlify. So the website that you already deployed, if you enter here, you'll see that this is a subdomain.netify.com that you can access to this website like that. But what if I want to add a custom domain? As you see here, I have three steps. The first one is already done and the second one is set up a custom domain. Okay, let's just click on that. I need to add a custom domain that I already own. But before that, let's just go to nameship.com where I will add some settings and manage the domain that I want to add into Netlify. Let's just click on account dashboard, add my username and password. Okay, I have a list of domain name. We have here this button to manage. Let's just click on that. So we'll just link the CSS addict.com. So I just have to add the custom domain and link it to Netlify. When I add CSS addict.com right here, I will access this website. Okay, let's just go and manage the domain. Let's just click on manage. I have this name server that if you want to just change the DNS and if I go Netlify and domain name settings, and if we check for that, you'll tell you how you can add a custom domain. And there is two ways to do that. We have the recommended and we have the alternative. And the recommended is you just need to change the DNS. And what's exactly a DNS? It's just mapping an IP address to a domain name. If you go, let's just open iTerm, I will show you that. If we ping on google.com, as an example, we see that I have here an IP address. And if I take this IP address and I put it here inside the browser, so it will be redirected to Google. What is it exactly doing? Because people can't just memorize these IP addresses and the DNS is just mapping this name here, google.com, to this IP address right here. And this is what we'll do. We we'll just need to map the CSS addict, which is this domain name, cssaddict.com, to Netlify IP address. If you choose this option right here, use a DNS provider, and then we add the DNS, the Netlify DNS. So in this case, you will give a full control to Netlify for our domain name. But sometimes you just need to use other services like Google Apps or whatever. Now we'll choose the second one, the alternative. On the alternative, you have create an e-record pointing to your root. And this is why we'll need to copy Netlify IP address and we'll create an e-record and a CNAME. Okay, let's just go to Nameship to add the settings. And we'll go to advanced DNS instead of name servers. Cause if you just pick name servers, you just need to add the name servers of Netlify, but we'll not choose that. Okay, now let's just add a new record. Okay, we'll go for this e-record and we'll add the parameter save it we'll go for the c name to use this ww right here and add a new record c name record then the w okay just remove one and css dash addx.com save it and this is the way on how we manage the domain name from nameship you can have uh, other provider let's go the idea or any other one so th they are the same just need to add a, a record and the CNAME one. Now let's just move to Netlify to add the domain. So www.css-addict.com, hit enter or click on verify and it will verify. So it asks you, are you the owner? If I for sure I'm the owner. Now they are checking for the DNS configuration. This will take a while. Maybe, okay, let's just check for that. I don't think this will work right now. And as you see, it works. So we're just setting www.css-addict.com and we can access the domain name via the custom one, which is in our case, cssaddict.com. Let's just refresh the page again. I'll keep refreshing the page and good. They are both working, the css.addict.com and the www.css.addict.com. And this is how we map a custom domain to netlify.com. And you can even verify this HTTPS right here and after we verify, they will use Let's Encrypt certification. It is a free one that you can use for your domain name. You, you don't have to buy one, but once you verify your custom domain name, so it will be applied and you can access via HTTPS instead of just HTTP to secure your website. Okay, that's it. So this is how we map a custom domain to Netlify to use that for a static site. If you have any question, just leave it in the comment section and we'll be happy to answer.